if a and b are the coefficients of x power n in the expansion of 1 plus x whole power 2n and 1 plus x whole power 2n minus 1 respectively then find the ratio a upon b so here a is given coefficient of x power n in the expansion of 1 plus x whole to the power 2n and we know that in the expansion of in the expansion of 1 plus x whole power n coefficient of x power r is ncr since 1 plus x whole power n is nothing but summation over r is equal to 0 to n ncr into x to the power r so we can consider the coefficient of x power r is ncr so by using this concept we can say a is equal to in 2n c n 2n c n is a coefficient of x power n and similarly b is equal to coefficient of x power n in the expansion of 1 plus x whole to the power 2n minus 1 so we can write b is equal to 2n minus 1 c n so this is a b now we need to find a upon b so consider a upon b which is equal to 2n c n upon 2n minus 1 c n since we know that ncr is equal to n factorial by n minus r factorial into r factorial so we can write here 2n c n we can write it as 2n factorial by n factorial into 2n minus n factorial upon again 2n minus 1 factorial upon 2n minus 1 minus n factorial into n factorial so which can be written 2n factorial upon n factorial into 2n minus n that is n factorial the division is nothing but multiplication with a reciprocal so let us take the denominator terms 2n minus n that is n minus 1 factorial into n factorial upon 2n minus 1 factorial so we can just simplify and we can cancel here n factorial and n factorial and also by using the concept n factorial is equal to n into n minus 1 factorial by using this concept we can write 2n factorial and 2n minus 1 factorial so 2n factorial we can write it as 2n into 2n minus factorial so we can cancel the denominator term and again here n minus 1 factorial and the denominator n factorial we can write n into n minus 1 factorial into 2n minus 1 factorial so we can cancel certain terms 2n minus 1 factorial and n minus 1 factorial and n and n get cancelled so which we are getting 2 so a upon b is equal to 2 by 1 therefore a upon b is equal to 2 is the answer okay